What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and this week we are going to take a look at one of the most affordable DNA 200 devices that I've seen out there yet. It is the Panzer DNA 200 by ThinkVape. So, you know, if you, you guys are like me, I don't like ordering too much from Chinese companies because they just take so long to ship and it takes forever before you can get, get the product. So, I, I looked all over the place, couldn't find anywhere. I searched eBay. I think the only one that had one, I can't remember their name, uh, but they had like a Iron Man edition. I didn't want the Iron Man edition. That was the only one that I could find in the U.S. So, didn't want to order off Fast Tech because everybody knows Fast Tech. Fast Tech is just, they're just slow, really slow. So, um,. Found it on GearBest. Now, I know they're in China, so I was a little concerned about that. But, I was able to pick it up for 114 and let me see here. Uh, I did pay for expedite shipping, so it was like 130 something by the time I got done with it all. And, I gotta admit, I was actually pretty impressed with the way it shipped. I mean, it got there within four days. It was at my house, and I was pretty shocked. So... Now, I don't know if that was a one-time thing or if it was just, I don't know. Maybe I just got lucky. But anyways, this is like one of the most affordable DNA 200 devices that I have been able to find and that they have made. And I got to admit, it has definitely escalated to being one of my most used DNA 200 devices. Uh, it does utilize a 1500 mod 3S lipo pack with a 35c rating spring loaded 510 and all that good stuff it's got that nice rubberized feel to it it's just kind of like what segeli fuchai has and all that good stuff it's nice and rubbery um it's really really durable i mean i've been taking it to work with me for the past two two and a half weeks three weeks now so Gotta admit, it's been pretty durable, and I like that my 24, 25 millimeter RDAs fit on it, and it's just beautiful, beautiful. So, I'll show you guys up close and personal in the nitty and gritty like I always do. Let's go do that right now. The packaging that the Panzer Box 200 Watt by Think Vape comes in. Pretty standard little box here. Panzer Box 200. Let me go ahead and open this up for you guys. Now, inside we do have our USB cord for firmware upgrades, eScribe, and to charge your battery. So that's definitely what's up. Do you get your cert certificate here that it passed. And a nice little user manual. So here's some specifications if you guys would like to pause the video, go check it out. Now you do get multiple colors, black and silver, black and red, all black, and red and silver. So, aluminum alloy. Here's your specifications for the DNA 200 chip. In case you guys did not know, because I am not going to go over the screen. There's just so many videos on the DNA 200 chip, so... It does have a 3S LiPo 1500 mAh battery. Nice little user manual here. Push this to the side here. Alright, here we are with the device. Let me go ahead and pop this goon off here. Definitely reviewing this bad boy soon. Alright. Now, here you go. Got nice clicky, shiny buttons. As you guys can see, I got the sub -ohm Saint. So, I got a huge shout-out for the guy that made this for me. Huge shout-out to Jordan Diaz. He has shops in it called Liquid Vapor Outlet in L LJ, Georgia, Jasper, Georgia, Lath Latham, New York, and Gilderland, New York. So... Definitely go check him out on Facebook. Uh, he did help me out in making this. And yeah, definitely definitely legit of him. So I definitely promised him I'd do a little shout out for him. It When I reviewed it, so I just, I love that. I just, that makes me feel so cool. <laughs> but anyways, 
as you guys can see it is definitely unique now your different collar patterns will be in this area right here so I mean it's definitely a different unique looking box you know it's not your traditional you do have your bottom here let's see here think vape panzer box 200 watt these are battery vents right here these do these are for your batteries to vent the top ones are not battery vents they are just there as you can see you do get a little bit of gunk up in there it's kind of nasty pretty grody spring load at 510 and I really love that the 510 is right in the center of the device. I mean, you can just you can fit so many things on there, and it just looks beautiful. Like right here, 24 millimeter Goon RDA sits beautifully. Uh, let me see. I have a 25 millimeter VCMT I can throw on there and show you guys. Just sits so beautifully on there. Just no overhang at all definitely a big fan of that so this has definitely become one of my one of my favorite mods to date right now Let me go ahead and set that to the side now in order to take this apart you take these screws right here out and you can kind of slide it out but it does have a nice rubberized coating uh, my hands are kind of sweaty and greasy so it does kind of leave like a little bit of tread marks here, but you know, you can wipe it off. Nice clicky buttons. Here is your USB, so you can upgrade, get on eScribe, all that good stuff. So I gotta say my only con with this device is really just these. Just these. They just catch so much gunk and it's just kind of nasty. It's definitely, I mean, I wish they'd have made it kind of like a smoother surface or something like that. Um, but other than that, it's definitely been my go-to. I mean, the batteries lasted me all day. See, right now, today, it is, let me see, 3 o'clock right now in the evening. 79% battery. Now it will not be like that when you get it. Uh, you have to change that in eScrub. I just changed it to show my battery percentage instead of my voltage. So anyways guys that would be it and I'm perfectly fine with us going back to FaceTime vaping on it talking about it. Let's do this guys. Alright guys that was the nitty and the gritty of the Panzer DNA 200 by Fink Vape. Now pros and my cons with this device I really don't have that many cons the only con that I really have about it is these little top air vent holes that I showed you guys up close they do accumulate a little bit of dirt you know get juice in there it's just it's kind of yucky so what I do is I take a q-tip kind of clean it out no biggie I can't I kind of try to think of it as a positive way like it's a juice catcher something like that if that makes sense um Sorry if you hear my birds. My birds are just going off right now. So, uh, but anyways, kind of think of it as like a, a little juice catcher. That way I don't have to worry about it running down my mod or something like that. That's my positive outlook on it. Now, other than that, I mean, I really don't have that many cons about it. I mean, I really like the buttons. I like, I like the rubberized feel to it. It just, it's, it's smaller than I would have expected I mean oh man let me I should have done like a size comparison in there but I didn't so anyways it's not that big I mean I got small hands this thing fits pretty nice in there it's probably about the same size as let me see okay here's the e-fusion probably a little bit bigger than that height wise about the same width a little bit wider so it's it's really 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 small compared to what I thought it would be you know if you look at pictures everything looks so huge in pictures so it's definitely smaller I do have the goon sitting on top and it's just beautiful sitting on top but anyways guys I will leave a link in the description on where you can get this. Uh, it will be a gear best, and I definitely recommend doing like the expedite shipping if you really want to get it quick. 
uh, you really can't complain about the $114. I think it's $114.02 or something. But you really can't, really can't complain about that. I mean, that's pretty good price for this. I mean, I've really been using it, loving it like crazy. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for the, staying tuned to the nitty and the gritty. I will see you guys on Thursday because I will be uploading on Thursday. See you guys then.